All right, got our PV32R apart, and I believe I already found the source of the issue. These uh, ceiling rings, <clears throat> look how, how this comes out. It's more terrible. See that groove there, war? This is what the other one looked like, and that's for forward. See how cut down that is? That thing is really war. I mean, it's over half war in. And those ride right there, and that rides in the case. <clears throat> that's where the fluid comes in to activate four clutch so that's grooved and we're gonna have to clean that up we'll just take apart the forward drum make sure forward's good and we'll go from there so i'm pretty sure that was our leak because usually when you rev it up if it goes into gear that usually means a pressure loss because obviously the pump spins faster at higher rpm and it can build more pressure and keep the clutches locked up so a leak is definitely on the radar screen here a high pressure leak so we'll get it apart and see what we got. Well, the greatest hits tour continues. The pump has definitely got some scoring. Eat into the housing here. Eat into these teeth. So huh. these are very hard to find. Maybe we can mill it down. All right, and here's what caused this whole disaster is this U-joint here. Got a little bit of play. One of the needles came out. needles got out and trashed the pump so we'll get these u-joints out of here all right so i got these u-joints out well you can see half those are broken half and smashed and on this yoke here look at the wear it comes out good you can see the wear and the lines right there so that's what caused this mess that u-joint failed a couple of those little itty bitty Things broke in half and ended up in the pump and trashed it, so, but we're going to fix it up. Okay, working on our PV33R here out of the 28 lures. This uh, pump cavity, or cover, has a lot of grooves in it. Well, this stuff is not available anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in our flywheel grinder, and I'm going to machine that back down. Now, I checked... With the depth mic, I got about 80 thousandths here on this lift. So I'm going to monitor how much I take off. You know, obviously, that's going to adjust my end play, but it shouldn't affect too much else. So let's go ahead and get this chucked up and see if we can't true it up so it pumps good. Okay, I've got our uh, Paragon PV33R front plate assembly chucked up on our old school Winona Van Noren P. I think it's a PH1000 valve or flywheel refacer. We bought it new in the early 90s, but we're going to. Go ahead and turn the table on. We're gonna try to get those grooves out of there. See if we can't make it happen. Can't screw it up any worse than it already is, so. Let's see if we can be a hero. If not, we'll be the zero. that little groove bed that is not gonna hurt anything at least I got a nice flat surface now see that pump can ride again so I don't think we get hurt at any we'll uh, we'll check see how much we took off here and we'll make sure our end plays right but 
Looks like it just started to hit the bearing, so but we're gonna change that bearing anyway. impregnated metal in this reverse band I'm gonna dig out so bands good but we don't want any of that metal getting caught up in that pump all right going through the control block on our paragon and this is the lube feed to the V drive look how packed full of junk that filter is so you know that V drive wasn't getting a whole lot of help so We'll clean all that up and put it back together. Okay, I'm getting ready to build my pump here for my PV32R. And I've got my pump face all machine from where it was junk. So, and I've got, I sourced two new gears. Now, what we need to do here is we're looking for about one and a half, two thousandths clearance between this plate and these two gears. So, I'm going to use plastic gauge to verify. And I use my depth mic and I checked and it looks like I got about two thousandths just with a depth mic. From, so, if I zero it to here, then drop it over to here. I've got about two thousandths, but like I say, we're gonna plastic gauge this and uh, go from there. If not, then I gotta machine this face down to get my clearance tighter. So, too tight is bad, but too loose is low pressure. So, on a garroter style pump. So, let's go ahead and plastic gauge this and see what we got. All right, I torqued up my pump. And uh, you can see our clearance here. So actually the drive gear is just a little, about a half a thou or so bigger than the driven gear, which that's okay. That, that's not a big deal. And we're, uh, I'd say we're what, one and a half on the uh, drive gear. And I'm gonna say you're two on the, on the driven gear there. And that's fine. And I do it over here. Let's see, it's two as well. So that's good. We've got we've got good clearance. You know, it's not too much. It's not too tight. So this thing should pump like gangbusters. So our source gears are correct for this. And like I say, anytime you're changing pump stuff around, you need to check the clearance because if you just slam this stuff together, you are inviting yourself for trouble. So there's nothing worse than when it gets hot, it doesn't have enough pressure or does something stupid. You know, this is where this is all done. This goes for car transmissions too. So, you know, spend some time in the pump area. You know, make sure it's clearance right, make sure you got the right stuff, you know, good face. You know, this thing's gotta be kind of tight to pick up and, and, you know, push fluid through, so. All right, our pump's good. Let's go ahead and put the pump together. All right, getting ready to put the pump on our Paragon, and this is an inexorable pump, similar to a velvet drive. You know, it tells you, you know, up for left rotation or up, that's up for right-hand rotation. Well, I know this is right-hand rotation because it's a PV32R, which means right-hand rotation on the tag, okay? But if you're not sure, I always mark them. See, I, I put some center punch marks here. See, somebody else been in here did three. I just did this one, so I know when I line those up. That's where I'm at. But this gasket, see this gasket looks like it can go out a bunch of different ways. Well, there's only two holes here that matter. This is the intake, okay? And this is the uh, return uh, line here to the case. So, on the pump, you see there's four choices here. These two line up or these two. Well, that's what you do is you spin this whole operation around. So if I mix this up and we put this on the wrong rotation engine, you'll have three neutrals. You won't have any pump pressure. So, that's why I say that's you, only two of these are used at one time depending on the indexing of the pump so just a tip all right so i've got the base transmission together you can see my marks you can see the three from a previous and then that's mine so this is for a right hand rotation it says up for right hand so it turns and we got the pump engaged so that's good so now we're off to the v drive portion all right, working on my Paragon PV32R, and 
Get ready to put the U joints in. Well, here's another tip. See these U joints have seals on them. Well, being as this transmission is running transmission fluid, we take these seals out because we want transmission fluid to get in. So the seals come out. I will put a pump or two of grease in, but transmission fluid will keep this uh, rolling. So, and these are the uh, 5-3228Xs, uh, which are Chrysler joints. That's what these take. 315G in precision was the old precision number. But um, that's what these uh, 3 Series take. I don't know if the 4 Series take this. It's been a while since I, I don't think I've done a V-Drive 4 Series. But I've done lots of V-Drive 3 Series. So I know that's what these take. So we'll pop these seals out. We'll get them uh, pressed into our yokes. All right, we've got the U-joints in. I got them greased. I'm going to make sure these grease fittings don't hit in there. If not, I'll take them out and put plugs in. But uh, they're in nice and smooth. So we'll assemble the V-Drive now. Alright, I've got the uh, Permatex anaerobic sealer I use here. Part number, what, 5113. So I just dab it around. I use my finger, I dab it, make sure all the corners are covered. And we'll put the halves together. Alright, we got our V drive all together. Feels pretty good. Those grease fittings aren't hitting anything. Got just the right amount of preload and backlash in it. So next thing is these uh, this needle bearing and race. Needle bearing goes down, faces. Some jelly on her there. Bearing first. Washer next, her race. And that's ready to install to the transmission. All right, testing our PV32 transmission. Good, no leaks. And ship it. 